Hi, I'm Jelly and you're watching Jelly's Journeys. Everybody, if you're new, welcome to my channel, and if you're not new, welcome back! <laughs> I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, um, but the other one, I'm working on it. I promise. It'll be up soon. Um, winter break is coming up, so I'm going to have a lot of time, free time, on my hands to get those other videos finished. I promise they're coming, but um, that's a whole nother a whole nother thing. So anyway, what this video is, this is what I like about you collab. And um, this collab was organized by Christy's Corner. Um, Christy, Christy's Corner. Christy is a wonderful person, wonderful YouTuber. She is so great at organizing all these cool little fun things, collabs and stuff for us to do. Um, really good at that. And Christy, I'm so sorry that we didn't get to meet up when we were in Florida. I was really bummed that we didn't get to meet up, but I totally understand. Um, it was really hard for us to organize a time together. So, um, hopefully next time we'll have to keep in touch. And, um, if we're ever in the same area at the same time, definitely got to meet up. Okay. So, um, this collab, going back, sorry, I tend to go off on little tangents, but I'll try to stay focused. Um, so this is the What I Like About You collab. Christy's Corner organized it, like I said, and what she asked us to do was to, using her words, internet stalk somebody, and she assigned a person to us. So, um, yeah, there's a whole list of YouTubers involved in this collab, and I'm going to link some of them below. Um, I'll try to link everybody, but it's kind of hard for me. Um, anyway, there we go, another tangent. Um, anyway, so what she did is she assigned us a random YouTuber. Um, well, not random. She assigned us a YouTuber, somebody who also wanted to do the collab, and we had to... Um, watch their videos, follow them on social media, and just learn as much as we could about this person. And then she gave us a list of questions that we had to answer about our person. And um, being the procrastinator that I am, and being so busy as I have been, I kind of got a late start on my internet stalking. So I... I did follow my my person on social media and I watched a lot of her videos. I didn't get to watch all of them like I wanted to, but um, I really liked what I watched, so I'm definitely going to keep watching them. Um, so, I don't know, some of these questions were really hard, especially because I didn't do as much stalking as I needed to do. Yeah, but that's okay. So I did the best I can, I could, and um, I, for convenience for me, I wrote the questions down on a piece of paper so that I could make notes and stuff and answer them as I was watching the video. And I kind of, like, copied them in just, like, short little things how I would understand and know how to do it or know what they were asking, and I kind of got some of them a little bit messed up. But anyway, here's what I got. So, I had to, I was assigned to Twinkle Bell Terran, and I am so happy that I got Twinkle Bell Terran because I am was absolutely loving her videos. Okay, so first question, question number one. Um, okay, so first question. If you were to meet your person in person, what would you want to chat about? Okay, we know Disney specifically, but what? So, there were a few things that I wanted to chat about with, it, that I would chat about with Twinkle Bell Terran, and, um, because I found out we have a lot in common. So, 
number one thing I wrote down was Disney princess movies. Because Twinkle Bell Taran is a princess person. She seems to love the Disney princesses. Um, specifically, I would want to talk to her about Tangled and Sleeping Beauty because those are my two favorite Disney princess movies. So, um, yeah, would definitely, I think we could have a great conversation about Disney princesses. But I think we would have a great conversation about Disney princesses, um, especially Sleeping Beauty. I know she likes Meriwether. And, and like Meriwether, she said, was one of her favorite fairies. And Meriwether is also one of my favorite fairies because she um, she looks like one of my aunts. So, anyway, I would definitely talk about Disney princess movies. And then another thing I would want to talk to um, Twinkle Bell Taran about, not Disney specifically, but your editing skills. Because I loved your videos so much. Like, I loved the little effects you added on, like the snow and everything, and um, I loved your photography, how you were zooming in on certain things, like your little pins and stuff. Um, yeah, so I would love to just pick your brain <laughs> and get advice on how I could edit my videos a little bit better. <coughs> so yeah, Disney princess movies and editing, because... I would just love to learn from you. You seem like so knowledgeable. <laughs> uh, okay, question number two. After getting to know your person, um, what do you find about them that keeps you coming back for more? Well, I kind of already answered that question. I found out that we have a lot in common <laughs> from your videos, things you were saying that you liked to do, and um, Disney things that you enjoyed are the same things that I love about Disney. So, definitely we have a lot in common. So I really liked that. So I know there's a lot of things in your videos that I'm going to definitely enjoy. Oh, and of course, your editing. I love the effects that you used in your videos. I loved your intros. Um, I really watched your recent ones, the Vlogmas. Um, and I really liked the, the little title that you did with the deer. and and sometimes you had snow falling down. I thought it was really cool. So, yeah, they're pretty much the same answer as the last question. I think there's so many things in your videos that I find that I love. <laughs> okay, so question number three. If you were to determine where your person is from, what would you like to do with your person or uh, if you visited their hometown? Well, I'm sorry I didn't get very far into um, Taryn's videos. But, so I didn't really get to figure out where you were from. <laughs> I don't know if you said it in some of your older videos. I mostly watched the, the recent ones. So um, I wasn't able to find that. But if you weren't, there's another part here. If you weren't able to find out where your person was from, what would you might most likely do with this person at the parks? And I heard in one of your videos about how much you love um, the Mexico Pavilion in Epcot, and Epcot is my favorite park, and Mexico Pavilion is one of my favorite pavilions. Italy and Mexico are my two big favorites. I love the Mexico Pavilion. So I think we could just go and hang out in the Mexico Pavilion and um, do the ride that's in there and shop a little bit, maybe go eat in a little restaurant. And my, it is midnight right now. And I can't really think straight, so I don't, I can't even think of what the ride's name is. And I can't think of what restaurant is in there. I think it's a San Angel Inn, I think. I get it confused with the other one. But, yeah. <laughs> we could totally just go hang out in the Mexico Pavilion and be so happy. Um, so, question number four. If given the opportunity to celebrate your person's birthday with them, what would you do? And this is... Um, location, money aside. So, if money is not a, a concern, I would definitely take you, or take Twinkle Bell Taran, to the Grand Floridian in Florida, in Disney World, and we would do the tea party that they have there. Um, now, recently when we were there, 
we went to the Grand Floridian and I saw that they do this tea party and I know Twinkle Bell Terran loves tea. That was one of the things I got from her videos and that's another thing that we have in common because I love tea and one of my favorite things to do is we have um, a tea parlor here in my hometown and uh, I go with my mom and my sister almost monthly. We go to their events and we just go sit and have tea and you know they serve like little finger foods and and things like that and it is just so much fun so if I were to celebrate Twinkle Bell Terran's birthday I would definitely take her over to the Grand Floridian and we would do the princess tea and because I know we would both enjoy that very much okay question number five so when thinking about your person's personality what is the first word that comes to mind um, this one was kind of hard, but for some reason, and I, it says to elaborate, and I can't, um, I just think sparkly. <laughs> when I see Twinkle Bell Taryn in her videos, I just think sparkly. I don't know if it's because you have sparkly stuff in your background, or you have your sparkly personality, I don't know, but it's sparkly. That's my word for you, for Twinkle Bell Taryn. Definitely sparkly. Um... Okay, question number six. If your person were to come across an injured animal on the side of the road, um, what do you think they would do? Well, in the spirit of Disney princesses, who I know Twinkle Bell Taran loves, and especially in the spirit of Pocahontas, who I'm guessing is your favorite, um, is Twinkle Bell Taran's favorite, I would say that you would defin that Twinkle Bell Taran would definitely go and help the injured animal. For sure, because that's what Pocahontas would do. That's what a Disney princess would do. And you seem like, a, or Twinkle Bell Terran seems like such a sweet, loving person that I think she would definitely do that too. Oh, this is one I got stuck on. If you and your person were to have a friend's night out anywhere, what would you plan for your person that you know would make their evening a blast while you still also enjoyed your evening? Um... That one was hard, because actually, question number three, question number four, and question number seven, I had the same answer for, and then I went back and ch kind of changed it, but um, I'm going to have to go with tea party again. I think we would just have a blast sitting and having tea together, and with tea cakes and little, I don't know, tea-themed food, <laughs> I guess. I think that would just be so much fun. So I think a night out, we would do that. Um, yeah. Or maybe go see the latest Disney movie. Not sure. <laughs> if given the opportunity to be anything they want and do anything they want, what do you think your person would want to be and do? Okay. So I had originally read this question wrong because on my little notes here... I didn't write out the whole question. They just kind of wrote an idea. Um, and I first thought of career. Like, what would your person do for a career? And then I went and rethought anything that they would do in their life. But, um, so I actually came up with some careers for Twinkle Bell Terran. I don't know what you do for a living, but I thought of things that, would, that you would be super good at. Um, first, I thought a motivational speaker. Because I know you like, you said you have a love of positive affirmations or um, quotes or um, motivation. What did I write down? Yeah, affirmations. Positive affirmations. Um, and you're a very positive person and I think you could spread that positivity around to everybody. And I also, from looking at your social media, um, you have some amazing pictures. Those Pictures are gorgeous and poses are like perfect. They're, they are amazing. So I thought um, career-wise, model, photographer, because your pictures are awesome. I loved them. Um, you're also very fashionable. So like giving fashion advice or something like that. Okay, and then I went back and reread the question. And I'm like, I'm not quite sure how to answer this. But um, anything that your person would be anything they want, do anything they want. Um, if this is not limited to what I originally thought, career, um, I think 
that if my person could have magical powers, like Harry Potter, because I know you're a Harry Potter fan, um, or a fairy, I think you would love having magical powers. I think that would be so cool. Just wave your little magic wand and... Yeah. I think you would like that. Question number nine. If you could pick one song, any song that represents your person, what would it be and why? Um, this is another hard one. But I had thought about it and thought about it. Going back to the positive affirmations, I was like, what's a good positive song and it being so late at night the only things I can think of are Disney songs right now so I thought a Disney song that is positive affirmations um, for somebody so positive I decided that a song that would describe you is a spoonful of sugar because I think that if your friends are ever down or, or having a hard time or anything like that and how much you um, love positive affirmations, I think you would be that sugar that brings them, like, cheers them up and makes people feel better. So I think a spoonful of sugar because, um, you know, looking on the bright side of things, I guess, and it will help you handle the rest of the stuff go along with the positive affirmation thing. So, next question, and I'm sorry if this video is kind of like random, I guess. Um, okay, what celebrity would play your person in a movie and why? Uh, this is also a hard one because I watch Disney movies and cartoons and I don't really watch adult shows or movies with actual people in them. So, um, it took me a while to think about it, but one person I thought of that I think would play you is Angelica Houston. And um, I know that's kind of weird, and I've only seen her really in very serious roles, and Twinkle Bell Taron doesn't seem like a very serious, straightforward person, but I think Twinkle Bell Taron is kind of like um, a more like a more beautiful version of Angelica Houston. Angelica Houston, I think she's beautiful and she's very poised and um, you know confident and all of that stuff. And I don't know, in a way, you kind of resemble each other, <laughs> but like a little bit different. I don't know. So I don't know. That's who I thought I would be a good person to play you. Um, I don't know so much about the sparkliness. Because I, I only ever see her as serious. But being the great actress that she is, I think she could definitely uh, definitely pull it off. Okay. What flavor of ice cream do you think would describe your person and why? Um, the only thing I could think of. Because I don't, I had a hard time with this one. Putting ice cream flavors with people. I'm not too good at that, um, but I think I would have to say strawberry. Yeah, and I, I don't know why that's like the sparkly thing. That was the one flavor of ice cream that kept coming into mind. So, I have to say strawberry. Um, do you know if your person has any phobias? If so, what are they? Well, I didn't hear anything in the videos that I watched or see on social media. I didn't hear anything about phobias. Um... So I don't know if Twinkle Bell Taron has any phobias, but I do know that Twinkle Bell Taron does not like to get wet. I know one of the videos you mentioned writing Splash Mountain, and you don't you love Splash Mountain, but you don't really like to go on it because you don't like to get wet. So if you could have the Splash Mountain without the splash, it'd be perfect. Not necessarily a phobia, but a dislike, I guess. Um, do you know your person's favorite park? And if so, what is it? I didn't figure that one out either. It's my bad procrastinating. I'm sorry. So, I'm, I don't know, Twinkle Bell Taron, if you checked your watch hours in the past 
couple of days because I finally was able on Saturday to sit down and watch some of your videos and then I kept getting interrupted. So um, yeah, you might have noticed your watch time shoot up this this weekend. But um, so I didn't figure out your favorite park. But what I'm guessing is I'm thinking that Magic Kingdom is your favorite. Um, yeah, because I, I noticed a lot of, like, Haunted Mansion stuff in your videos, and, um, so, I don't know, I, I, I think most of the videos that I watched had Magic Kingdom related things. It's what I found most of. So, I'm guessing Magic Kingdom is your favorite park. I'm not 100% sure, but that's where I'm going with that. So, last question. I'm not necessarily what has to do. Excuse me, not necessarily what is about my person that I was assigned to, but, um, question is pretty much, what did you think about this collab? And I really liked it. I was so happy to do this, and I was so happy to be included, because, um, I don't know, for some reason I often get forgotten and things among my friends, I don't know. But, um, I was so happy to be included in this collab, and I really enjoyed it. I liked, um really sitting down and watching a new channel that I didn't really know anything about and I am so glad that I that I got to do this because I I don't know I have like I guess a new favorite channel to add to my list of favorites because <laughs> I really loved Twinkle Bell Terran's videos um so I, I like that I was introduced to a new channel and there's a whole big list of more channels that are participating that I cannot wait to go through and watch watch all their videos um yeah there's tons of them so I love always being introduced to new new channels and new people's like things I don't think I would find if I just did searches on YouTube or I would even I don't know if I just search Disney on YouTube, I mean, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of Disney channels. So I don't know if I would get to any of these. Some of them I know, but some of them I don't. And so just being introduced to new channels, I really like that. Um, I like getting to know a new, um, other vloggers, a new person. Um, what else? Oh, and another question is, what did you dislike about this? Um, nothing. <laughs> I loved every part of this collab. I've loved everything so far. Some of these questions were really hard, though. That was one thing that kind of threw me off a bit. Some of the questions were really hard. But I still loved every minute of this. I loved watching the videos. I loved racking my brain trying to figure out some of these answers. Um, it was just a lot of fun. And I hope that I can get included in more Christie's Corner collabs because Christy always has the coolest ones and I did get a list of some that she's planning and I'm so excited. I hope to join those. But um, yeah, so definitely if um, you're not a part of this collab, um, if you're just one of my followers, um, thank you so much for watching my videos and thank you so much for following the other videos coming out, I promise. They're coming, and then now with our last journey, I got so much more footage for so many more videos. So hopefully I can keep up with that. And, um, yeah, thank you so much. Definitely go check out these other channels. Definitely check out Twinkle Bell Terran. She is amazing. Definitely go check out Christie's Corner, um, another amazing channel. And um, hopefully I can list all of the other channels below if you're watching this and they're not listed below please come back <laughs> come back in a few days later and I'll I'll have that taken care of because like I said it's late at night right now and um, I gotta get ready for work and I have a lot going on so it might be difficult for me to link the channels right now but I'll get them up and so keep checking back or you can visit Christie's Corner and Twinkle Bell Taryn, when you visit their channels, they will definitely have their link. Just look for the What I Like About You collab. 
and it should be there. So, um, just one more thing. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to dream big. Good night.